it is completely possible to, without pirating anything, get all the sounds and software you need to make professional electronic music for around the price of a Netflix subscription. Here are some examples of music I've made using this setup that I'm going to talk about in today's video. The first thing you need to get into any kind of music production is a DAW, a digital audio workstation. This is the main software that you're going to be using, the hub that everything happens in, where you write songs, lay them out in time, make sounds, mix everything, and all that kind of stuff. The current most popular DAWs for electronic music production are Ableton and FL Studio, but both, especially Ableton, can run you up a good amount of money. So I'm going to recommend something that is pretty popular and just as powerful. The DAW that you saw in the intro, the one that I'm currently personally using and that I recommend is called Reaper. This is a piece of independently developed software that is free to use. Technically, it costs 60 bucks. And while I do recommend paying that, you can use it for free fully functional as long as you want, as long as you're willing to put up with a little window saying, please buy this, that lasts for a few seconds. In my experience, Reaper is pretty intuitive. It's got a solid workflow and a solid suite of mixing plugins. A plugin to oversimplify is basically a little mini program that pops up inside of your main program. And Reaper is full of stuff for mixing and effects and all that kind of stuff. So it's got EQs, compressors, reverbs, delays, and other effects that you'll learn about as you get further on into your music production journey. Its main weakness is in its actual instruments, its virtual instruments as we call them in the software world. It does have a built-in synth plugin, but it's kind of janky and limited and you might not get as much power out of it as you'd like. The thing I'm going to recommend to fill that gap is the synth plugin Serum. And this is where the Netflix subscription analogy kicks in. First off, to describe Serum a bit and get you acquainted with synth plugins in general, there are a ton of synth plugins out there. Many of them are extremely powerful. There are a lot of ones at a bunch of different price points for a bunch of different purposes. Serum is a synth that I think is especially powerful and it's extremely versatile and it's got an intuitive interface, so it's good for beginners, and it's got an incredibly deep amount of options, so it's really good for experienced people. And it and the way it sounds and the kind of stuff you can do with it have kind of defined this current iteration of bass music and EDM in general that we're in right now. And you can use it for 10 bucks a month via Splice.com. Splice is not a sponsor, but it's something I've used personally and I found a lot of value from. So essentially you pay them 10 bucks a month, which you can cancel at any time. So if you decide that that synth isn't for you or that electronic music production in general isn't for you, you can cancel it and then just dip, or you can continue paying 10 bucks a month for the synth. And once it hits the actual value of the synth, if you were to buy it outright, it ends and then you just own it. And once again, you can pause or cancel it at any time. So it's a really good way to get a super popular, powerful and versatile synth at very little risk and very little upfront investment. A side benefit of its popularity is that there are a metric crap ton of both sounds and tutorials for it. You can also get quite a few synth sounds on Splice. They have another subscription service where you can pay, I think it's eight bucks a month or more, depending on how hungry you are for sounds, to essentially go through their huge library of drum samples, instrument samples, vocal samples, synthesizer patches, and download up to a certain amount for a certain amount per month. And once again, this is also something that you can cancel at any time. Often, if I want to try making a new genre or load up on new sounds, I'll just pay the eight bucks for a month get 100 sounds and then cancel afterwards. And apparently they're completely fine with you doing this. So if you wanna get some high quality drum sounds and synthesizer sounds and all that kind of stuff, 
that's a really good place to start. I also have a free pack available of synth sounds and drum sounds that I'll link in the description. Its main focus is drums, and there are drums and some effects in pretty much every genre, as well as a few synth sounds. Moving on to other virtual instruments and effects, this starts to get into free plugin territory because there are a lot of very high quality free plugins out there. A good one for simulating real drums is MT Power Drum Kit. I'll link that in the description. There's a good plugin called Forefront Piano for doing both pianos and electric pianos. There's Loudmax, which is a limiter, and it's good for mastering, and you'll learn more about that as you get into music production. And there's a free version of my secret weapon for getting nice, clear, punchy mixes. Essentially, in electronic music, a very common technique is to duck uh, synths and especially bass to the kick drum. So the volume on, say, the bass dips out when the kick drum hits and then comes back up, which is where you get that pumping effect. And there's a free plugin that I will link in the description that can get that sound and that lends itself to not only a professional sounding mix that sounds like the other EDM tracks out there, but it lends itself to a very clean mix. So far, we've just been living in the world of software. And if you just get Reaper and use the fully functional infinite demo, it's free. If you get Reaper and Serum, you're paying 10 bucks a month. And if you get Reaper, Serum, and Splice sounds, you're paying around 18 bucks a month. For physical gear, there's actually not a whole lot that you need to buy, at least not at first. For beginners, I would recommend using the stuff that you already have. You already have a computer, it's probably good enough to run audio software, and if it starts choking under the weight of a bunch of virtual instruments, you can render some of that stuff out and bring it back in as audio, and that will be less processor intensive. For headphones, you can probably use the headphones you already have. The headphones I use are fairly cheap, and to make sure that I'm getting like an accurate picture of what the mix actually sounds like, I just make sure to reference it against other mixes that I like, and that becomes like a reality check for making sure that there's nothing in my mix that's tremendously out of whack. For playing in notes, Reaper does have a feature for musical typing, so using your computer keyboard as a piano keyboard, and at least for starting off, that's good, or you could get a cheap MIDI controller that I'll link in the description. MIDI is the way that computer and instruments talk to each other. And so a MIDI keyboard is essentially a keyboard that's like a video game controller for your computer. It doesn't have any sounds in itself, but it controls the virtual instruments in your DAW. You definitely don't need one of these to make good music, but for me, since I have a musical background in drums and a little bit of piano, I find them super useful for jamming and coming up with ideas and playing in parts. So I'll link a couple of cheap-ish ones in the description, one that goes for 30 bucks and one that goes for around 50 or 60. And finally, let's talk about education. I've thrown out a lot of terms in mixing and whatnot that are probably unfamiliar to you that may seem a bit overwhelming right now, but a lot of this stuff isn't complicated, it just has to be taught. Over the course of learning electronic music production, you're gonna learn music theory, sound design, mixing, mastering, song structure, and there's a lot of stuff here on YouTube for free that you can watch to get yourself acquainted with some of these concepts. I've created a playlist that I'll link in the description and at the end of this video of just a ton of really good foundational concepts for music production. Everything from basic music theory to basic sound design to the structure of a powerful drop. And of course, there are also paid sites like Skillshare, lynda.com, Udemy, or possibly Udemy, where you can get longer, more in-depth, a little more formalized courses on this stuff as well for sometimes fairly cheap, especially if a YouTuber that you like is sponsored by them, you could probably get a discount or a limited time of free stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but I'm sure that some YouTuber that you watch is. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully this can help springboard you into your music production journey. If you'd like to watch that playlist I mentioned of educational stuff, you can click or tap up over here somewhere. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can click or tap down over here. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with a new video next week.